Assalamualaikum and good days. My name is Nur Aiman bin Rahim. My metric number is B0910463. For this presentation, I will present about the background. First of all, a hammer is a handle to use to strike another object. This consists of a handle to which is attached a heavy head easily made of metal with one or more striking surfaces. There are dozens of different types of hammers. The most common is a claw hammer which is used to drive and pull nails. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. Uh, my name is Muhammad Yasir Razim bin Yusri. Uh, my metric number is B0921100086. Uh, today I will talk about a uh, design of the hammer. So there are two major components of a hammer, which are, uh, which are head and the handle. So the design of these two components depends on the specific application. But all hammers have many common features. The striking surface of the head is called the face. The surface of the head around the face is called the pole. The pole is connected to the main portion of the head by the slightly tapered neck. The hole where the handle fits into the head is called the arts eye, which uh, the side of the head next to the arts eye is called the cheek. On the opposite end of the head, there may be a claw or pin, uh, and the hammers are classified by the weight of the head and the length of the handle. And the common curve claw hammer has a 0.2 until 0.6 kg uh, head and a 30.5 until 33 cm of handle. Assembling part of the hammer. Uh, if the hammer has a wood handle, the handle will be inserted up through the arch eye of the head, and the wood wedge is taped down into the diagonal slot on the top of the handle to force the two half upward uh, to press against the head, and this provides sufficient friction to hold the head on the handle. Then the wood wedge is secured in place with two smaller steel wedges driven through it crossways. And the handle may then be stenciled with ink or labelled with an adhesive sticker to show the manufacturer brand uh, or other information. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Azmina binti Muhammad Razi. My number matric is B092110138. And I want to explain about forming the handle first. If the hammer has a wood handle, it is formed on a lid. A piece of wood is cut to the desired lines and secured at each end in the lid. As the wood spins around the long axis of the handle, a cutting tool moves in and out rapidly to cut the handle's profile. Next, the position of the cutting tool is driven by a cam that has the same shape as the finished handle. As the cutting tool moves down the length of the handle, it follows the shape of the cam and cuts the handle to match it. The finished handle is clamped in a holding device and a slot is cut diagonally across the top of the handle. The handle is then sanded to give it a smooth surface. Assalamualaikum, I'm Nadiana Binti Adoraman So today I want to present about forming head So first we cutting The steel root into the small pieces And then we heating Heat the small steel bar into either temperature Around 200, 2000 degree Fahrenheit And then close die for gain Second die this is from above and squeezes the hot metal And then we separating now roughly forming head are loaded one at a time into a punch cutter to remove the flesh and then final forming after separating from the flesh the head the hammer head are stepping once more to fine tune and then cooling rack the hammer head are loaded into a very slow moving covering that pass under many cooling fans then tumbling bash a hammer head are loaded into a large dumb tumbler along which abrasive metal to remove any rough spot and unwanted material and then with tempering the steel hammer head are places in a rack that lower into a buff of molten salt at 1060 degree and then finally we final the grinding 
Hard hammer head are in loaded into a jig that hold them into the self position. That's all. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Azri Abadi, Muhammad Ali. Uh, number metric B zero nine two one one zero five three six. Today, I would like to present about quality control in our hammer process. In addition to the normal visual inspection and dimensional measurement, various steps in manufacturing process are monitored. Probably the most important step is the heat treatment used to harden portion of the head. The temperature and rate of heating and cooling are critical in forming the proper hardness and the entire operation is closely controlled.